Hi everyone, welcome back to Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. My name is Stacy. I am going to be doing a charger plate lemon decor piece to go with the lemonade tin that I made in the last video. And I'm going to be using the Enjoy the Little Things Lemon page from the Simply Blessed calendar from Dollar Tree. Uh, the 2021 calendars that we were all so crazy about before Christmas. And I have a circle cutting tool. And so I just turned it over and I figured out, put it on the center there and figured out how big of a circle I wanted this to be. And then I found the center-ish. I eyeballed it. And then I put my pencil in and drew around it. And now I'm ready to cut out my circle. And this can be changed up a little bit size-wise if you need to, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. Um, my circle cutter was made for cutting fabric, so you're supposed to be able to pin it down, and I couldn't do that too well. All right, so I've got this. I'm going to need to trim this up on the bottom. Just a little bit. And this is going to fit in here like that. So now I need to decide do I want to leave the plate this color? Do I want to whitewash it? Put a little yellow in it? I don't know. I do like the color. It kind of adds to the same color here. Maybe I'll just go ahead and decoupage this on. So, what I did on the back of the calendar page is I painted it black. I didn't want the. Um, calendar numbers and lines and things to show through when I'm decoupaging it. So to help camouflage those on the thin paper, I just went ahead and painted it black on the back with my chalk paint. Okay, and now this is, can fit right inside of there and just be wonderful. I see a little spot where I missed my line. Alright, let's go ahead and montage this on. I'm getting ready this weekend to do up all of my spring and summer decor farmhouse style stuff up on top of my kitchen cabinets and so I just thought well a few fresh new pieces would be nice so that's what these last couple of projects are for it's just making it look good and fresh I kind of got tired of those big pizza pan fruit slices that I did last year. I just, I didn't really like how they wound up on my, they look good, they just didn't look good the way I put them up. So I just wanted to kind of do without them this year or maybe split them up and do them a little different. I don't know. All right. I'm just going to work this on with my fingers for a minute. And the fact that it already had some paint on it has kind of already broken in the fibers a little bit for moisture. This is not sticking. What's going on here? Let's slather a little more in there. Let's see what we can do now. There we go. I don't know if it dried out or what. Guess you got to use more than you think when you have a textured plate like this. I'm going to push this down into the glue with my fingers. And then I'll get my roller out. There's a lot of Mod Podge in underneath of there and it needs to get rolled out to the edges. You see that? <laughs> get it rolled to the edges and then where I can't use my roller, I will use my fingers to smush it the rest of the way out. When you're doing this, make sure your fingers are clean, that you don't have paint on them. 
if you have paint on them there's a good chance that paint will transfer off of your fingers and onto your artwork and you don't want that brush and I'm going to go over this entire piece. I'm just going to go over all of the edge. I don't feel like I need to do that. This will get a clear coat once it's all dry and then we'll decide if we want to add any greenery and bows and trim. If you're really careful how you cut your circle you can get away without all the trims. And sometimes I think that getting away without a trim is a good thing because it just keeps it a little more simple. And I like that. All right, as this dries, you just want to keep on pushing down any little wrinkles that you see. Any little bubbles. Hold it up to the light, move it around so you see the reflection while it's wet. And then good to go. Alright, that one needs to dry too and then we'll come back and uh, finish it up. Alright, there you have it. My quick, simple um, lemon plate. I could have painted it, whitewashed it, put a huge bow on it, but I didn't want that. I wanted something simple to put up in the up above the kitchen cabinets that had the lemons on it uh, that I could do as my like fruit in the fruit display. And I just love this little wreath from the Simply Blessed calendar from Dollar Tree for 2021. And um, it's just simple. I didn't even want to trim on it. So I took my time to cut that circle as neat and perfect as I could to get it to fit into the plate. And that way I can get away without having to put any trim on it or uh, embellishments that just don't need to be there. Sometimes simple is best, especially when you have a lot of decor going on. And when I decorate above my kitchen cabinets, I pack it in and I make it kind of look like a display at Hobby Lobby where they just have stuff in every little nook and cranny. That's uh, the look I like up on top of my kitchen cabinets. So I like lots of things, but I don't like the things to be overdone. I like them to be kept kind of simple. So this is going to fit perfectly into that um, aspect of it. It's very simple. It's very cute. It could even stay up all year round. Um, not on my kitchen, not in my kitchen during Christmas, but it could go back in the china hutch in the dining room during Christmas and be just fine. All right. So think about what you're going to do with a piece like this and do you want it to be simple or do you want it to be over the top if you want it to be fancy and over the top put a huge bow on it put a spray of lemon leaves and lemons along the side that would look beautiful as a standalone piece on that you can hang on a door or a wall or even in a dark corner but for up where I'm going to use it this is very simple and I want to keep it that way okay so I'm not against bows and fancying things up just not for the purpose that I made this for. Okay, so that's why I didn't go with the fancy bow and making it um, super fancy. All right, so I like to keep it simple. Let me know what you're thinking about this project in the comment section below. How do you like to decorate above your kitchen cabinets? Do you like everything to be fussy and a little bit over the top? Or do you like to keep things simple and streamline uh, or do you even decorate on top of your kitchen cabinets some people refuse to do that because they don't want to have to clean it but the way i look at it is everything's up there for one season so that's three months and if i hit them with a extender that has a, a feather duster or swiffer duster on it and i hit it once a week then i find that they don't get too gross and, and dirty and then i clean them when i take them down and then i pack them away and then they're ready to go for next year at that season and some pieces like this one will be up all through spring and summer so this is going to be a multifunctional piece and um, i have like a collection of general farmhouse things 
that I will put up on there. And then I trade out some of them and put in things for summer. I put in certain things for spring. I don't really do a lot of decorating for Valentine's Day. I do a little bit here and there, but I don't like go over the top for Valentine's Day. Um, it just kind of gets incorporated into my spring stuff. And then I pull it out slowly and replace it with other things. And the lemons work well with the bumblebees and the other fruit things. And so that's why I choose those uh, themes for decorating. Anyway, let me know what you're thinking about this project in the comment section below. This one took me literally, I think, five maybe seven minutes because I had to paint the back of it with black paint. So less than 10 minutes and you can have something cute and simple. All right. Let me know what you're thinking and if you might try to make this. This has been Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.